who's here. Greetings, my friend. We're celebrating Scarlet's demise. It's good you could make it. My home will last, Bran? Sit down. I can't keep standing on that leg. Better ease up on that leg, B, or it won't heal right. It doesn't hurt anymore. Is that why you make that bear noise every time you sit down? That's just the spirit knocking me out. <laughs> <laughs> Toast to the hero of the hour and all. Oh, Yay! Yeah. <laughs> so, tell me, how did it feel to stomp the evil snot out of the guard? Celebrating our victory over Scarlet. Would you like some juice? I suppose we should celebrate while we still can. Got candy? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Come on, kid. What are you talking about? You know, don't you? Scarlet wasn't just fooling around. You know something? Tell us. Much as I loathe to even entertain the idea, I do believe you're right. And here we thought Scarlet was the worst of our problems. I'm not afraid of no friend. Bran, I'll have to take you to the branch one day. No single warrior can stand alone against the dark. Fortunately, we have each other. <laughs> <laughs> what? You want our juice, Sweet? I can make pasta. Requested a roast chicken from the kitchen. We'll eat soon. Little Miss Mama, have you any idea how difficult you've been making my life? Mother never shuts up about you. I told you never to call me that. You've told me lots of things, sis. Sis? Jory, is this your sister? Yes. Come on in, Buttermilk. Say hello to my friend. It would be my pleasure. Hi, Marjorie's friends. You're the band that took out Scarlet. I'm honored to meet you all. Hello, hello. Congratulations on King Scarlet. That Silvari was trouble with a capital T. So how are you? You're looking a little skinny. <laughs> oh, God. Don't tell Mama that. Besides, look at you, getting fat in that cushy new serif coat of yours. Oh, I don't think she's fat at all. Why, thank you. My sister's always been jealous of my voluptuous figure. She used to call me Big Belly. Only because you called me Little Miss Marjorie. Like I was some snooty nobody or something. Oh, you were snooty. Marjorie used to order me and all the other kids around even though she was the youngest. Hey, 
what's this about Mama Fetter? Oh, you know how she gets. And when she heard you'd been in a fight against Scarlet, well, she sent you to check on you. Time to report back to Susan. I can't stay long, my dear. I'm just here to count your limbs and listen to your heart. So, how is your heart? Gone as ever. What do you think of Casimir? She's beautiful and charming, but isn't she from a noble family? She used to be. Her family lost its titles under tragic circumstances. She's one of us now. She works for me. I see. Well, in that case, I wish you and her every happiness. I can see that you care deeply for her. Yes, I do. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. heard you dealt the killing blow to Scarlet. You have my respect and gratitude. trouble for roaming the camp? No. Yeah, Zoja gave me extra calculations as a punishment, and I never got to see Scarlet. Well, but Zoja cares about you. No, she doesn't. She cares about her record. If I do well, it reflects positively on her as my college mentor. You don't like Zoja's polish? I was not designed to be in synergetics. I was designed for status. I don't know what that means. It means I'd rather make stuff than talk about making stuff. Oh, yeah. Me too. It must be nice to have a sister. Hey, Bram. Uh-huh. You want to hear about the new Acer phaser I invented for my golem? I modeled it after Scarlet's pet. Uh huh. It works just fine, but I have to keep adjusting the Gorometer. Uh huh. I had to shave down the Minius array wheel in order to get it to fit on Scruffy, but I got it. Uh huh. Next, I'm gonna make him a panmetric listening device so he can warn me in advance if someone's sneaking up on me. Oh, that 